Yeah. Hey everybody, um, welcome back to another episode of Mega Moon Madness where Dax is disappointed. I'm very yeah. fucking disappointed. <laughs> we got Mighty Mongrel. LBP2. He didn't know me. Boy, one, he didn't two, know three. me either. Burrito Bug, right here. That's playing music bag. out of their mouth. Shut the fuck up, lady. Nobody asked you. <laughs> Sorry, Burrito Bug. You're Burrito playing bagger. music out of your mouth. I can't hear. I, I can't fuck listen it. to it. I still hear it slightly. <laughs> I still hear it slightly. He's like, no, please. <laughs> it's coming out of someone else's mouth. Are they together on the in the same PlayStation? Yeah, they're probably banging each other. Probably. I uh, know. They have oh, to be yeah. near each other because the music's coming out of his mouth too. Well, I don't know because it's no, it's coming off like maybe he had like one of the guys is on stereo. You know, he's doesn't he's not wearing earphones. Oh yeah. So it'll channel through. God dang it! You should, you should like kind of set. You should kind of set up some kind of input rules, like you guys have to wear headphones. So like. Yeah. Well, I don't decent. care like if there's like echo because I I always turn the volume down. Um, so because sometimes like the sound of the uh, like stuff going on in the episode might overpower the other stuff. Yeah. So it doesn't yeah. overpower my voice. I'm not. Not not trying to be selfish to like the music or like the audio going on in the game, but like the whole point of me doing commentary is so I can be heard. That's true. That's true. Narcissist. Okay, let's go. <laughs> 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 I want to be heard. Fuck you. Well, what about you, Dax? You want to be known. Exactly. <laughs> Fucking fuck these people. Fuck your fans. <laughs> I hate. Them. Well, that's after just what like... I went through with fucking horror. That, that's just like, um, Sanic said the same thing because no one knew who he was. He's been on the channel a couple times. And they're like, everyone knows Dope or Garma. Fucking Dope, yeah, but like, fucking, I was with the whole series of fucking Pokemon. Yeah, well, Help those me. episodes, those last, well, the ho, -Ho episodes went up, but the, um, what is it, the, the last couple that we did of the Elite Four hadn't gone up yet. That'll be sometime this week and sometime next week. I <laughs> That'll be them. You, oh my god. Cause I, I need to get I need to get in the zone to edit them. Get in what are you what are you no, gonna no, do? No 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 I know what those are. You're gonna do stuff. I have to be in the mood to edit them, let me put it that way. Oh no. god. <laughs> are you gonna put like a lot of effort in it or um, well, I, I always put effort into it in the, the way where, um, I used to put a lot of effort into it. Like, if I went to a battle, the bottom screen, the bottom part of this screen would display the trainer's Pokemon, and if they died, it would have an X over them. But no one cared All right. about it, so oh, I got rid of that part. Yeah. It's I probably like, it, like, it's a nice aesthetic if you want to work a little yeah. harder, but yeah. overall not. Um, but I got it to the point where, like, if... My Pokemon levels up. I put the level for them, like the level. Oh shit! Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, before I pretty used, good. Before I used to, uh, what was I think someone was from in one episode. Yeah. Uh, there, there was a couple episodes where I, I worked a little hard. Remember the the Chuck Norris episode where like I put Chuck Norris's head on Chuck. Oh, and God. um, <laughs> put the Chuck Norris claws. But yeah, once in a while I like to put comments in there and stuff. It's good though, it's good to kind of, you know, kind of add some spice now and again. Uh, I mean, it's nice, but it's just, I, I don't know, like, I'd like to get, no, uh, I'd like someone to, like, at least notice it in the comments. Yeah. Like, you know, there are some, I don't know, like, it's kind of nowadays, I think, people don't realize how hard it is to edit. Yeah. You know, like, a lot of people are like, I want you to be like PewDiePie, fucking editing everywhere, and it's like, you don't know the fucking hours that takes. You know, it's yeah. just fucking, Jesus Christ. Well, also, another thing with, like, editing too oh much, sometimes you'll take away from the game, also. Yeah, it can take away from the- I, th I find, in my personal opinion, I am, I am, I I stopped liking PewDiePie for he. I found that he over edited things. Uh, well, then again, yeah. he also plays. I I don't know what he plays now, but like I know he he always played a lot of those flash games and like throwaway games. So yeah, he kind 
in, in a way, it kind of had to, because otherwise it'd be boring with that, with, with just its comment. Like, because you can only, like, make it funny for so long with just your commentary. Yeah, you know, I remember I, I, I used to find, I don't know why, some people said I had a mental, I was mentally challenged for liking these guys, but Smosh. Uh, you mean like this thing? Fucking, oh, fucking that thing. Yeah, it's fucking, fucking, do you remember Boxman? Boxman? Smosh, Boxman, like, uh, Boxman! Yeah. Fucking, that, that was shit. <laughs> do you remember Ray William Johnson, anybody? Oh, yes. Fucking that guy, fucking short Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Who else was there? And it was fucking Onision. Onision uh, speaks. Did not know who that. Uh, he's like he's like a guy who talks and shit. Pretty he's pretty good. Um, fucking he had a really I think everyone did, but I had a really really depressing uh, draw in my life. Huh. Uh, like it was really bad. Um, who else? Uh, fucking Boogie. The guy who used to rage, the uh, fat yeah. guy. He had a fucking terrible life. Jeez, that poor bastard. Uh, I'm so sorry if the heart goes out to him. Uh, who else did I use to watch? Um, oh, come on. There must yeah, be I know. Uh, what was it? The other the other month, like, I saw a tweet where um, Kotaku basically called him a liar of what he said. Because he had mentioned something. And they call, called him a liar and he got offended by that. Why did they call him like, Oh shit! Really? Yeah, they called Boogie a liar over something, cause, uh, cause, but I think Boogie just wanted to remain neutral about the whole thing, and oh, I guess, okay. cause it it was like a GamerGate debacle, and like uh, honestly, the thing with GamerGate and like the whole SJWs is they want you to pick a fucking side. They don't want you to remain neutral. It's like, no, yeah, you're either on their yeah. side or you're against them. That's just yeah, but it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, to be honest, like, it's like a fight in a family, you know? Like, somebody wants you to kind of pick a side and fucking, you know, and somebody gets fucking excommunicated. But, like, it, it's, you know... Like, the idea on Gamergate, I'm not very familiar with it. How, what's the real drama about it? About what? Gamergate. Oh, uh, like, the thing with, with, with Gamergate is, um, uh, as far as I know, it's basically polluted with SJWs, and SJWs, uh, a lot of it's like, um, quote-unquote feminists, but they're basically, um, they're, they're a little overdramatic with how they approach video games and stuff, trying to make video games equal for everybody when they're goddamn video games to begin with. It's like, yeah. oh, women are portrayed correctly in this, oh, there's too much violence in this video game, yada, 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 oh my, just shit. Ah, so that's what Gamergate is, ah. I remember there was a thing where there was another thing going on about Gamergate, about, like, uh, you know, the add-ons and uh, that reviewers, game reviewers were affected by uh, the, the company trying to add a bias. Yeah. You know, like, and that, I remember, uh, Cynical Brit, uh, or Total, Total Biscuit, Biscuit. They call it. Yeah. Total Biscuit, um, he, uh, was saying that he found this, in a sense, very dangerous for the community because he believed that there was oh, yeah. a lot of children with, uh, autism who can be easily, um, influenced, yeah. you know, into certain things, and, like, uh, the thing is about people with autism, and, like I said, I'm not knocking them, I have autism myself, everyone, I, um, what was it, it was, um, fuck, it's actually losing on the head, shit, what was I saying, Zadok, <laughs> quick, I don't I'm trying to make a point here, I'm trying to make a point, Zadok, Zadok, <laughs> what do you want from me, I don't know, fucking nudie pics, oh god, no, please, please, no, <laughs> no, no, I don't want your weed on my them. Oh, yeah, he is too nice. Just pubes everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since he fucking spray painted his fucking pubic hair green, I fucking. What? Uh, no, he didn't. <laughs> he fucking didn't. Uh, that reminds me of the the one time back when I used to cosplay a lot. I, because uh, I was cosplaying Gray from Fairy Tale. And oh, yeah. uh, he had no hair on his chest, so I had to freaking nair the shit out of my hair on my chest. <laughs> I, re and, I remember. Another time. Oh yeah, you yeah. finished yeah. Well, finish. I, I'm just gonna say, 
again. Make sure you follow those instructions carefully, otherwise it's gonna like it's gonna feel like a fucking rash afterwards. Oh yeah, it's very like a lot of people say like you really to be honest, like a lot of people do say like it's there for a reason. Don't fucking take it off. Um uh, which is understandable, but I remember when like I said, I'm sharing this with the audience where I decided to shave down below. Yeah. Uh, we're not talking like a dry roof, like a dry electric shave where like it leaves a little bit just above the skin layer. We're talking like a wet shave. Yeah. You know? And oh my god, it was like I had to clap. It, I was so itchy and it was just, it was so red and puffy. It had fucking. Everyone's <laughs> gonna take some context. <laughs> it was fucking. <laughs> and then like, I told Hager about it. And then, like, he fucking did it as well. He's like, oh, yeah. oh Dex, oh, I'm so itchy. I'm like, I'm itchy too, dude. <laughs> yeah, I remember the, the, the one time uh, Dope would just be like, it's like, I just took, what, uh, one, uh, a step into manhood. I just shaved. And then, uh, basically, I think, like, um, <laughs> and I don't mean any offense by this. It's just, this is a quote from the guy. It is like, <laughs> He's like, nigga, I've been sh nigga, I've been shaving since in second grade. Good job. <laughs> oh, we all just start busting out laughing. <laughs> well, fucking look, hairy I baby. I, I hate those people that shave and they don't need to shave. Yeah. Like you have no fucking hair. Why are you shaving? Uh, well, I, I find it funny, like, um, because once in a while, uh, dope will be like. Like, no, like, he'll be like, oh, it's like, oh, because, like, he'll compliment me, like, oh, you sexy mammy, and then the next moment he'll be like, you fat sack of shit, and I'm like, what is your problem, <laughs> dope? It's like, I see what you look like, and I'm like, I have bipolar. <laughs> it's like, yes, I'm not exactly fucking skinny, but I'm not, oh, like, oh, like, completely fat Obese. either. Yeah, I'm more not a lanky obese. piece of shit. Yeah. I think I think it just I think it just he probably does it he probably does like the me on it you know it's kind of you know, like Sally you're awesome Sally you fucker you know it's completely different. Well, if you've ever talked to Dope like when he first comes into a party, he's very calm. Over time, he gets more and more pissed off. Oh uh, yeah, it's like yeah, it's yeah. Because I try to rile him up, but it doesn't work, and then later on, he just gets automatically riled. <laughs> He's fucking horny. He's fucking sexual tension. Oh, we gotta neuter him, Sarah. We gotta neuter him. Oh, God. <laughs> we gotta cut off the fucking system. <laughs> okay. I love Blue sending me all these pictures. Holy shit. <laughs> the nudie pics. <laughs> fucking. Oh, God. That's another one. That was bad. Oh, gee, did, oh fuck! Actually, yeah, this is more drama we can talk about. Oh god. Um, no, it's not. It's not like, well, it is bad. But um, did you uh, hear about Yami Mash? You remember oh, Yami Mash? Yeah, I heard about that because I think it turned up in like one of my recommended videos, or it was, or it was over in the side of a video I was watching, and I'm like, what's this about? Holy shit, dude! And then, I mean, uh, seen nice, but fuck. And, and then, uh, like, apparently, like, because it also appeared on Drama Alert, too. Yeah, Drama Alert. I like Drama Alert. I don't know why. It's fucking... It's and, just... and people were, were bitching about it, and I'm like, all he's doing is just reporting shit. Yeah, it's, it's um... It's not like, oh, it's like, oh, that's wrong, or that's right. Yeah, there's nothing wrong. Like, we have, like, we have E, which is practically, like, on TV. Yeah. You know, like, you don't, like that, that's practically fucking Drama Alert on... Yeah, because I mean, what? I mean, yeah, you can fault the news, but like the news is all it's doing is providing factual information. Provide, yeah, but I believe if the news kind of doesn't tell the news right, then yeah. they're wrong. But you know, and um, but anyways, back in the fact, anybody who doesn't know, there's a video that you can go up, um, oh, that you can find about. You just go on Yami Ma Yami Mash's channel. He, that he, I don't think he posts anymore, does he? Uh, I don't know. I haven't looked recently. I just know that like, I saw that video of like basically apologizing for what happened. Yeah, well, you, uh, he could go to prison. Um, not okay. really because he hasn't done anything sexual with the person. I mean, he might have flirted with them, but he hasn't like one. That must go under sexual... some grounds, though. Yeah, I don't know. The internet is like a, a gray area. 
Uh, yeah. If he tried to make sexual advances and tried to find out like stuff and like that, possibly that they could file a char like file charges and shit. But um, it's only when they actually ba basically a pedophile is when you're sexually attracted to someone and basically try to have sex with uh, someone yeah. under the age of consent. Yeah, is usually what it is. Well, like, largely under the age of consent. It's not yes. like these people could be four or three or... And they, in this case, this girl was 14. Yeah. And he was what? He's like a grown-ass man. Yeah. Which is raw. Uh, he he him, was you know, like... And... I know he was younger than me, though. I think he was like 22 or something? 21? He's 22, yeah. But still, like, it doesn't justify it. Like, even now, like, I've noticed myself, you know, and... Here we go. I'm not... I, like, I've never ever done anything, but, like, I'm fucking nervous to go up to girls at times because nowadays a lot of them are so done up yeah. I can't tell if they're fucking my age or not because I'm 18 now I could be charged with shit if I do well, something well it depends on what the age of consent is in your country it's 16 in uh, uh no sorry it's 15 in Ireland yeah which is very young very young in Japan it's 12 yeah which is fucking if he was, if he was in Japan he couldn't get sued or anything that, that's why I always find it funny when, like, people make comments and they're like, Oh, that person likes you, or it's like, you should go after that person's status. It's like, I'm probably twice their fucking age. Yeah, okay. don't, don't fucking, yeah, I'd never go there, yeah. I'd never, um, yeah, I it's don't. Like, I could probably be your fucking father. <laughs> oh, God. I'm getting that. What if I have your daddy? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, that's very, that's very true. And, I, and yeah, it, like, it's very true. I'm like... It's just, I want to give advice to people, alright? Uh, to girls specifically, just look like your age, okay? Don't do yourself up, because you don't know how old you guys look are. Like a whore. Don't look like a whore, you know, don't, don't, yeah, don't be a whore. But, you know, like, dress appropriately and act appropriately. Play, like, not play, that's kind of wrong. Um, fucking fiddle me, Santa, but it's like... <laughs> I got extinct, I'm stuck in the box. You're stuck in the box. He's coming out uh, of the closet, but, guys. But, um, yeah. No, that's scary. Uh, another you thing know, like, that I, group. I always find yeah, funny it's... with kids, and, like, a lot of my younger audience isn't gonna get this, is kids uh, and, uh, uh, like, um, uh, basically just how kids go about, like, with relationships and fucking, like, in high school, I think there was, like, a couple people that were pregnant, like, when I was in, like, 11th, like, 10th, like, I think the earliest I saw was 10th grade the one time. I was like, what the fuck? How old are you? What's... I see, I don't know that grading system. How uh, old are you? 10th grade is around 16. Alright, okay, yeah. Some, 15, <laughs> 16, 10. depending on when you start yeah. school. Oh my god, this box! This box deck! She's like, no, I love you, Santa, don't go. Oh my god. Oh, I made it. I made it. I'm out. Um, 11th, gra uh, 11th grade is like 16, 17... And then, uh, 12th grade is, which is your senior year, is, um... Your last, uh, 17, like, 18, 18 and shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, um, yeah, go yeah it, it's just kind of weird, like, because, um, that, it's kind of funny, because I think when they first well, had a health, a, a sex ed class, it wasn't until, like, 11th grade, which is, like, yeah. you gotta start te teaching this shit much earlier. Because, like... Yeah, but no see, the, there is this big... Yeah, the, but see, the problem is... The thing is, though, like, so, like, when people say, like, they should teach this shit earlier, it's true, but I believe where it gets... You do it to a certain age, I believe that it might want people to do it under the age, you know? Because they know now I need condoms, you know? They put it on, they use yeah, it, and they have sex on the age. One thing my sex ed class taught, condoms don't always work, like... That... Uh, it, even birth control pills don't always work because my one friend's mother was on birth control pills, but their medication canceled out the birth control pills. Oh shit! Yeah. So they were an accident. They were never meant to happen. <laughs> and then abortion came no. <laughs> That's gonna be fucking like scary to think about. Like if someone had ever thought it's of terrible. aborting you. It, it's it's terrible. Like I I completely came out of nowhere. My my mom and dad told me like I completely came out of nowhere. Not they were telling me I was the unwanted child. Like they were happy with the news, but like it's just to think that you weren't you intended to be born. Sorry. Are you an only kid? Uh well like this is where the awkward part is. I I. 
I was, uh, yeah, they, they, yeah, they were like they're in they're in their twenties, you know. Oh, like they were in their like they were, like my my brother, on my step. Well, I can still consider my brother, but he was I think he was like I think he was like eighteen when I was born. Yeah. Well, and actually, no, he's turning thirty now, so I'm telling tell you, age. I think he was nearly in his twenties. And um, uh, my sister was like in her teens, and it was. That was that. Like, my oldest stepsister was in her 50s. But that's old, you know? So, I, like, I grew up with a very older, you know, um, family. Yeah. Rather than, that, rather than uh, uh, you know, like, really all I really had was just my mom and my dad, and that was it, really. Yeah. You know? And I was that kid as well, like, especially, which is another uh, symptom of autism. You don't, like, hang around with kids your age for some reason. Wow. Yeah. They, they prefer like older audience or something like that. I don't know really why, but it's a thing. And um, like I said, I, I don't know if you could consider that a symptom. You know, it's kind of bullshit, really. You know, because some people like hang around with older people. You don't have fucking autism, so. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh oh. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta get out of here. No. 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 I can't do anything. What's going on? Fuck. It's playing the it's... fucking Numa Numa song. Oh god, no, no, no! It's, it's like your mom caught you masturbating. He's like, no, no, give me a minute. Speaking of no. that, speaking of masturbating. Um, oh god! So, anyways, I think that's enough of Mega Moon Madness for today. Um, I'll be back that was later. A weird episode. Uh, later today with a bonus episode by myself, showing off uh, some cool stuff that I collected over the time. Till then, everybody. I'll see you then. Later.